Hello, I'm Kent Lustig, employed by and affiliated with Synopsys. I'm a distinguished architect in the Interface IP group, focusing specifically on the development uh, and interaction of Ethernet standards, uh, IEEE and OIF. One of the things that I'm most excited about for this year's TEF is the discussion on the next generation Ethernet, Ethernet for AI. Uh, that particularly is close to my own heart because I am the champion for initiating an IEEE 802.3 project focused on 400 gig electrical and optical signaling for AI networks, really focused on that Radix optimized scale out use case. Having a chance to see the presentations, the content coming in from hyperscalers, as well as a variety of industry partners, whether they happen to be standards development organizations such as OIF, UEC, or SNIA, or uh, partners uh, from suppliers such as components and devices and, and CERTES, seeing everyone come together, realizing we need to actively work to solve a problem quickly uh, in order to address the needs of the next generation AI networking solutions for the world today. The big challenges that I see for 448 and 400 gig Ethernet is number one, uh, time to market. Uh, in the past, I won't say that the market had been uh, slow, but uh, the, clearly the, we're in the midst of an inflection with AI and the need to meet that. So clearly it's time to market. Two, in order to meet that time to market, it's a matter of how do we make best use of the information and the materials that are available to us today. Recognizing, of course, it's going to get better in the future. Clarity always comes. But how do we take advantage uh, of what we know now in order to solve today's problems and move forward fast for the time to market? Third is recognizing how AI is touching all of us uh, one way or another in our daily lives, whether that's uh, searching for new information, getting recommendations, finding things, or just being able to, to solve and, and find patterns that we've never seen before. All of that uh, is starting to come together, and we see that in infrastructure, whether that's power, networking, uh, connectivity, et cetera.